Hi guys, welcome back to Class Creative. Today we're going to have an easy introduction to lino cutting for the purpose of lino printing in the next video. This video is specifically made for beginners in lino cutting and printing and I've tried to make it as basic and accessible as I possibly can. Have fun and enjoy. In this video tutorial you'll be introduced to the basics of lino cutting and how to transfer an image onto the material and successfully cut it safely using a lino cutter tool. In this specific video I demonstrate my first attempt which included more detail than my second which was a lot simpler but more visually striking in contrast. The basic materials that you'll need to make a lino cut are a pencil cutting mat to protect your work surface, a piece of flexible lino, this specific sample comes from the Specialist Craft catalogue. As an art teacher I highly recommend the Specialist Craft material catalogue for their high quality tried and tested art materials. I will leave a link to that down below later in the comment section. This brand of lino is also super durable but also so soft to cut it's basically like a bar of soap or even like a block of butter so you guys will enjoy working with it. You also need to choose an image, make sure that it's easy to draw or trace around. Um, you'll need a pencil, a lino cutter tool. Um, these tools usually come with additional set of cutting head tools. There are so many to choose from but when starting out and it's your first time doing lino cutting, I just recommend going for the small gouge and a medium to large size gouge like this one so you can achieve some variety in line thickness. Step one, the first thing that you want to do is make a trace of the image that you want to make a lino cut of. So here I've chosen this little finch bird and I'm just going around with a pencil to trace that. Next we make a simple trace transfer by flipping the tracing paper and then tracing back over the same image so that the graphite actually presses down onto that side of the lino. If you don't want to smudge your pencil drawing on the lino you could always use a permanent marker such as a sharpie or a other fine liner black pen. The choice is yours but it is a recommendation. Before you launch into actually cutting out your shape, you want to just try the range of cutting heads just to make sure that you're comfortable with how they work. So I recommend for health and safety to always um, push away from your body because if you tilt the cutting head towards your body you're more likely to have an accident. Always try to hold down the piece of lino that you are cutting as well. Even better if you do have access to a clamp at home that would be beneficial then that way you don't have to keep holding down what you're working on. However it is fine to add a variety of pressures as well to get deeper cuts. Um, here I'm just trying to achieve thinner lines and thicker lines depending on the pressure that I use and yes I am experimenting with shorter lines and flicking techniques as well. Um, you may have to peel off some of the lino if it doesn't come out straight away. These, Some of these heads are actually a little bit blunt and yes you can get sharper um, replaceable heads such as these ones here. Here I've got 25, 25 lino cutter heads, all different shapes and sizes, which is very exciting to experiment with. Um, so here, this specific one, you can actually unscrew the lid slightly and just push in whichever cutter, cutter tool you want. And then when you're satisfied with the types of lines and shapes you're getting for your design, then stick to it. Last reminder for the younger viewers and older viewers, if uh, you are using these uh, sharp tools, try to keep your opposite hand far away from the sharp cutting tool because it will hurt and yes, it will cut through skin. So you do have to be very careful when working and very mindful. Always watch where your fingers are and keep that sharp blade away from your fingers as much as possible. Don't forget in the next video part two we're going to go into the process of printing so look out for that video coming out soon here on Class Creative.